When is the last time that you lost control of your temper and got angry? How far did it go before you got control of it? Did you lash out physically at someone or say things that you shouldn't have said? Or did you go to God and, and talk to Him about it? Welcome to Getting to Know Jesus weekly video series. I'm Glenn Koppel, Minister of the Word. This week's thought comes from Lesson 37, which is in Getting to Know Jesus, Volume 3. If you'd like to follow along in your Bible, we're in Matthew chapter 5, verses 21 and 22. You've heard it said, was said to the people long ago, Do not murder, and anyone who commits murder will be subject to judgment. But I tell you, anyone who is angry with his brother shall be subject to judgment. Again, if anyone says to his brother, Raka, he's answerable to the Sanhedrin. But anyone who says, You fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. I'm abhorred at the accounts of people who lose control of their tempers and, and then let their rage and their anger bring out the worst in them. Road rage, domestic violence, verbal abuse, way too common in today's world. It happens far too often. We have an attitude that it's about me and, and you better not get in my way. Being selfish is commended by those who don't respect God and don't know God. And then we wonder why we have so much crime and violence and murder in our homes, in our homes today. Jesus reminds us we should love one another. He'll repeat this theme throughout His ministry. We're here to love God and, and love people. Here He tells us not to dwell on Anger and rage is as bad, uh, that to dwell on anger and rage is as bad as committing the sins that you're thinking about. If I'm thinking, boy, I'd like to kill that person, that's as bad as killing them. Don't think that way. If you think that I'm angry at that person, I hate them, I want to hurt them, that's not loving them the way God loves them. Yeah, but they did this to me. They hurt me. They did this and they offended me. I have a right. Why don't you take your rights to God and you consider what you have done to Jesus, what you've done to your Heavenly Father, who has a right. What you think does so much in determining your behavior. Wrong thinking, results in wrong behavior. Selfish thinking results in selfish behavior. When that behavior causes harm to another person, that is abuse. And that is wrong. That's not how we honor Christ. Now, there's times when we need to go to a person and correct them if they're doing something wrong. And, and we want to do it in an attitude of love. Not in an attitude of selfishness. Not in an attitude of anger. So that doesn't mean we let people just get away with anything that they do. And just say, oh well, I forgive you, no big deal. No, no, no problem. We carefully connect them to Christ. And it's time for us to get reconnected to Jesus Christ. You got something that's hurting you? That somebody else did to you? Think about how much you have hurt Jesus. Let Jesus have your hurts and, and don't let your button be pushed. You know that button. If somebody says this, I'm going to do this to them. If somebody says that, I'm going to hurt them in some way. That Nobody talks to me like that. Don't let that button be pushed. You take it to Jesus. Give your anger to God and let Him take it away from you. Stop thinking about killing a person you're supposed to love. Stop thinking about it's okay to hit a person that you're supposed to love. Only in self-defense. And if you're loving God, and you're both loving God, and loving each other the way you're supposed to, that will never happen. You'll never have to hit someone that you love. If you're loving God, and loving others the way Jesus loves you, stop thinking about giving them a piece of your mind, or, and pray about whether they may be right in whatever it is that upsets you. You know, it's hard sometimes to examine ourselves and say, you know what? That criticism that person labeled against me was true. It hurts. I, I don't like being criticized. I don't like being judged. I don't like tell people telling me that I'm wrong. 
and sometimes they're wrong. But I've also found that sometimes they're right. And so I have to control my anger and I have to evaluate what they're saying. Is this maybe justified? You see, it's not about you, but about how Jesus, who Jesus is in you, and how you can live a life that honors God, honors Jesus, and honors others. By honoring God with Jesus and Jesus with your life, you gain the respect and the approval of others. Isn't that much better than the consequences of rage out of control? Isn't gaining the respect and approval of others, even when you've been wronged and abused, far better than going to jail because you've abused somebody else physically? Don't be guilty of domestic violence. Don't be guilty of road rage. Don't be guilty of losing your temper and lashing out when somebody did something that hurt you. It might be possible that they did not mean to hurt you. And if you don't lash out, the door is open for forgiveness and doors open for them to come and repent. If you do lash out, then yeah, they're probably going to come back on you and that's not going to be good either. Don't be guilty of domestic violence or road rage, but be a Christian and let the world see it in your actions. God bless you and have a great week.